How to steal a guy's girlfriend. This is very controversial advice. Let's go into the dark side of pickup or dating. Uh, today we're going to discuss how you can steal someone's girlfriend. Uh, and yes, I do have some good tips. Done some research on this topic. And uh, let's just say that there's a girl that you're interested in. Maybe you're friends with her. Maybe you work with her. Maybe you go to university with her and she has a boyfriend. And you want to turn to the dark side and steal um, his girlfriend. Let's just get into this. To start with, you're going to have to go all undercover spy agent on her and you're going to have to gather a lot of information this is number one you're going to have to find out a lot of information about her and this is what happens when you are that that friend of a girl that has a boyfriend your goal is to gather as much information about her that you can use to destroy her relationship uh, and that means you're going to have to gather a lot of information. This is very controversial advice. I get it. Uh, but it's real. And welcome to the real world. You're going to have to gather as much information about not just simple things about their relationship, uh, not the bad things about the relationship, uh, how much time they spend together, what, what's their... Uh, his connection with her family like does he get on with her family does he get on with her friends uh, is he of the same uh, socioeconomic status as her is he as educated as her is he as intelligent as her do they have a some sort of connection uh, obviously they would if then if they're dating uh, but you never know it can be a flimsy connection um, Depending on how solid their connection is, they might be living together, she might be totally head over heels in love. Uh, the issue here is information. And this is something that you need to gather. You need to gather a lot of information and I'm totally aware of how controversial this topic is. I will, I will just to clarify and make myself seem, sound a little bit less evil for making this video. Um, there, there have been studies done that upwards of 50 or 60 percent of women out there, and I know a lot of you guys are not going to want to hear this, have a backup guy. So they could be married and still have a backup guy. My understanding is that uh, early on when they're dating someone, the, the, the percentages of them having a... so. Early on in a relationship with a the guy, they are more likely to have almost um, almost a hundred percent of those girls out there have a backup guy. This is this is how ridiculously common it is. Then girls that get serious with a guy, maybe it dwindles down to seventy five percent. You know, when when it gets to the point where they move in, it dwindles down to fifty or. Or even down to 25% or something like that. Uh, and then the, there might be 10% when they are engaged and they get married. Uh, there's rare, it, it gets a bit rare. This is kind of the, 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 uh, the upside down bell curve. And then as the, the marriage goes on for 5 to 10 years, uh, the percentage increases where there's uh, women that have more and more more and more women that have a backup guy uh, later on in their marriages and this is why we have paternity fraud, we have guys bringing up um, other men's children because after 10 years she, she ends up sleeping with her backup guy quite often. So uh, it's, it's almost 50, 51% paternity um, fraud in countries like the UK. UK, UK is one of the worst, um, actually. Uh, but this is a real phenomenon. And you got to understand that if, if things are this bad and it's this unspoken truth about what is happening out in the world, uh, you're either playing to win or you're losing.
pretty much. So if you are that guy and you're sitting there and you are, you know, you, you think that this is evil and that you are being a bad man for trying to steal uh, some guy's girlfriend, just keep in mind that this is far more common than you might think. And a lot of girls like to monkey branch, which means that they're always looking for a better guy. I will add, uh, if you manage to steal a guy's girlfriend uh, and she monkey branches to you and you have this male ego that you're better than him, uh, you make more money, uh, you're taller, handsome, better looking, uh, you've got all the, you treat her better because you <laughs> what a load of crap, um, uh, or you're just better in general, uh, I want you to know that if she cheated on her previous boyfriend to go to you, there's a higher probability now, because she is less likely to pair bond with you, that she will cheat on you as well. Once a cheater, always a cheater, especially when it comes to women. Remember this. So let's get on with some of the evil stuff. Um, number one. Obviously, you need to gather information, so this is number two. Uh, you need to prove to her that you can keep a secret and you need to have these conversations that are only between you and her. You've got this little, uh, you've got your own little group. It's uh, it's almost like it's you, you and her versus the world and whatever stays within your little group, your little bubble, you need to create that bubble. Uh, nothing escapes that bubble. Uh, and you need to make that as solid as possible, and she needs to believe that. Uh, she needs to, to know that if she can tell you something that is so controversial that if it got out it would ruin her life, she can trust that you're going to keep that secret, and that the other part of that secret is uh, her sleeping with you while she's living with a boyfriend, okay, or her husband. Uh, so keep that in mind. You need to create that bubble. You need to create, create. You need to prove to her that you can keep a secret, uh, and she needs to know that you can keep that secret. Uh, I've got a blog. The top link in the description. There's a blog post where I go into a lot more detail than what I'm, I'm posting here. Um, I, I post in the blog post a lot more things that I probably cannot put on YouTube, um, because this is controversial as hell. I've seen. Uh, video of guys guys catching their girlfriends cheating and people getting killed and stuff like that. I'm aware of how serious this is, but on the top of, on top of that, you have to understand how uh, prevalent this is in society. Women are cheating on their boyfriends and husbands all the time, and they've always got a backup guy. All almost all of them, fifty percent on average, have a backup guy. Yeah, <laughs> outrageous statistics. On average, every fifty percent of every woman that you every woman that you see out there that's in a relationship has a backup guy. Like pff, blows the mind. So to start with, you also need to set the frame too. One, you need to be telling her that you only want to be friends, you know, so you, you can wheel you can get in there. She has to know that you can keep a secret, that you guys are just friends. Um, you have to let her know that you're more fearful of her boyfriend finding out than anybody else finding out. Uh, you're more fearful of the boyfriend finding out uh, on top of that than she should be. She needs to feel that even her fear of the boyfriend finding out, you're more fearful than she is. Uh, this will also be the feed feedback loop of the bubble and also her trusting that you can keep a secret because you're more fearful than her. Fear is a good motivator to keep keep a secret, right? Um, while projecting that you want to be friends, you also need to hint that you are pre-selected by women. So what that means is you're friends with her, you're gathering information about her, as much information about their relationship as possible, you're creating your little bubble, and when you are telling her secrets about you, you're telling her secrets about you sleeping with other women and no one knowing about it, and you don't want her to tell anyone about it because you're in the little bubble. 
So you're not telling her stories that make you look bad, you're telling stories that pre-select and DHV you to her because you're just friends, remember? But keep in mind, you are building this uh, evil, underhanded way to steal her. And four, very important, don't catch feelings from her. Uh, don't catch feelings for her because the type of girl that's going to cheat on her boyfriend is the type of girl that can't pair bond with you and can never be trusted. You've got to understand that. Don't steal a guy's girlfriend and just start behaving as if, oh, I'm better than him. Oh, my dick's big, bit of, bigger than his. I'm, I'm better than him and I make more money than him. I'm a better boyfriend. I'm, I wash the dishes. No, you're not better. Okay, you've got to understand. You're, you're not better. Um, she's just a cheater uh, and you're just playing the game and if you get hooked on her you increase the likelihood of you getting cheated on yourself and her monkey branching to somebody else uh, and you getting yourself screwed over so keep that in mind once a cheater always a cheater then at that point this is where it gets evil you need to plant seeds of doubt so what you need to be doing is uh, hinting about her boyfriend, uh, planting seeds of doubt about um, how good of a boyfriend he is. Uh, and that could take a form of uh, him working too hard or him not meeting her parents or him getting angry when he gets back from work or them having some sort of an argument and you uh, elaborating in it and trying to make her feel as bad as possible about that and judgmental of him. So plant those seeds of doubt of their relationship over time. Uh, obviously don't overdo it uh, and just like hint at it and over time you can weasel your way in there. Um, here's a few examples. Your boyfriend seems a little bit too busy for you. Uh, is your boyfriend dating that girl? his secretary that he works with. Um, why can't he afford to take you places? Like, I, I can afford to take my girlfriend's places. <laughs> oh, he, he would be nothing without you. Your boyfriend would be nothing without you. You're the one that's running that relationship. Uh, and that feeds into the, high, the whole monkey branching, hypergamy aspect of the, the female brain. He would be nothing without you. Without you, uh, you are everything. You're the one running the show. You're the one running that relationship. Um, and women hate that. Uh, women want to want a guy that pays for everything. They want a guy that runs the show. They, they want to find a guy that is of far more value than themselves. Um, and, and with that, it's an evil sentence. He would be nothing without you. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and he should do more for you. He should do more for you. Uh, in, and, and the problem with this is that when you say uh, he could do more for you, that could be used in any, any context. It could be used for any purpose or reason. And it doesn't even have to make sense. You say, he, oh, he, could, he, he really could do more for you, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, he really could do more for you. He would be, he would be nothing without you. <laughs> oh, this is an evil, evil video. Mmm. I think if you want to read the rest of the controversial stuff, I wrote a blog post, it's the top link in the description. Uh, you can get more information on, on this controversial dating strategy. Uh, but I will, I will want to clarify. Statistics have proven that 50% or more, depending on what, what, uh, part, what, what, uh, where they are in their relationship, women have side dicks. That's what it's called, a side dick. they got a backup guy. Uh, and a lot of them are willing to... Upwards of 
some of the statistics say that one in every four would jump for a higher value man like that. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's not just me pumping out evil, uh, an evil dating advice video. Uh, it's a fact of life. Uh, and so you can sit back and find yourself getting cheated on or you can play the game because that's how the game's played uh, and the statistics don't lie. I'll see you guys in the next video.